Hello, this is Bishop Guy, and this video is for entertainment only. So please do not do anything in this video that I tell you. One, I just got back from Area 51, and I highly suggest that you do not even go there. There are men that are stationed around there, the perimeter, and if you do pass the no trespass signs, they will come and they will arrest you. So please do not go there and do not pass the no trespassing signs. With that said, and this video being entertainment only, I will tell you how I get past their system. One is I use a device. This device, you point at any motion detector and it will knock it out for approximately five minutes. Five minutes only. And then it comes back on. So the, the system doesn't even know it's offline. You have five minutes to get past that motion detector. Now, you usually want to wait at night, which I do, in a ninja handbook. It's a night ops. So you low crawl past the sensor after you knock it out. Now, there are some men that are stationed around the perimeter, and they are dressed in black tactical gear, and they will come and arrest you and they have thermal scopes. These thermal scopes were made by L3 Warrior System, which I happen to know a little bit about. With that said, I know a way around these scopes. What you do is when I hurt my back, the doctor gave me these pads, these ice pads, and you put them on underneath this bulletproof vest on the back and then on the front and that's going to keep your core cooled right here and then you'll want to take a smaller bag and put under it like a hat because a lot of heat is coming from your head and those thermal scopes will pick up on the heat that your body is throwing out so if you can use some breathing techniques lower your, your body body where it doesn't be detected. Not unless you're a yoga master and have a stealth suit. Um, you're going to need to use something like the ice or something to keep you down. Now I did use some techniques that I learned from the YMCA karate class that I take to help keep you calm and lower, lower uh, your heartbeat. That seemed to help but I think with that ice right there it was very, very cold, and that lasts a couple hours. And what I also do is um, I put these pops in there, too. You, know, you can stick them down in your vest, and they keep you cool. And then when you get thirsty, you can slide them out, cut them with your knife or whatever you have, and then you can suck on them, and that keeps you from getting thirsty. So it kills two birds with one stone. So using these pops really, really helps, especially out uh, here in the desert. So low crawling, I was able to get past the men in black and I got into the uh, inner perimeter. And there's a lot of sensors around, there's a lot of cameras, there's a, you know, a lot of things there. So uh, I highly recommend you do not do that. <laughs> so I was able to get into the compound and I saw this big giant black spot and my arm hairs were just standing up and I was feeling nauseated and I felt like I was gonna throw up and I just couldn't be there anymore so I just turned around and went back but man but on my way out I heard something in my head and it's saying save me save me and I'm like what's going on and it says Barry, come to the back of the white building and go through the back door. And I'm looking around, it's like, whoa, this thing has got inside my head. And it's saying, I need your help. Save me. So I'm looking around, <laughs> I'm like, whoa, and the hairs are standing up on my arm. So I hightail it through that back door go inside, and there's a guard there, all in tactical gear and a helmet, the whole nine yards. And he says, uh, welcome, Barry, go right in. So I walk right in, and I'm 
I'm wondering, I'm waiting for the men in black, you know, the black suits, like the television shows to come out and arrest me. But no, and I walk a little further and this um, Marine comes out and he says, uh, Sir, I will escort you to room 185. Oh, wow, you know, it's like, he's all in his dress blues and the whole nine yards. So I follow this uh, Marine and he takes me down to 185. Uh, you know, it's a little walk. Not, it wasn't that far from the door, and I noticed it said the laboratory on it. And he said, sir, go right in. You, you've been expecting. So I walk right in, and sure enough, boom, there's nobody there. I look around, and there's this cage right there. And then this thing inside my head saying, Barry, use a paper clip on the desk and use it like you saw on the YouTube video, how to pick a lock, and pick the lock on the cage. So I took the paper clip and I bend it all up, put it into just like the video showed me on YouTube, and I stuck it in there, and I turn it around, and it popped right open. And it says, pull me out, I'm too weak. So I reach in there, and this little thing jumps in my hands, and I pull them out. And he says, save me, save me, and let's get out of here. So sure enough, I turn around, I get out of there. I'm like, whoa, you know, lights are going on and off, and this thing seems like it has power over things, you know, and it was inside my head. So I got out of there, and when I stepped out of the, the back door I came in, there was a, a Marine in a Jeep, and he says, uh, sir, I will take you back to your vehicle. So I jumped inside the vehicle with this little life bioform, which I cannot tell you what it is. Maybe I'll show you it in another time. Um, but I went back to the car and I drove home with this thing in my arms. It was cold and it needed attention, it, like it's never been held or anything before. And it was, I was getting all kinds of things, but I noticed um, when I was getting, it was early morning, the sun was coming out. So I put on my sunglasses. When I put my sunglasses on, I noticed this thing couldn't get inside my head no more. I don't know why or how, but if you wear sunglasses, it, I guess it can't get inside your head. So that's why I'm wearing sunglasses, because I have this thing inside my head. And I just heard the helicopter. I don't know if you heard that, but I'm telling you what. There's been helicopters going around my house a lot now. And also, uh, I have a black SUV that is parked outside down the street, and it's got tinted the windows. I don't know. But anyway, all I know is I... I saved this thing, I have it, and I am not going to uh, give it up or anything. I'm just trying to help it, nurture it back to health. But I will, maybe, down the road, show you it on the YouTube video. Well, take care and do not go to Area 51. Do not pass the trespassing signs because you will be arrested.